Let me know, just show you what end result you can expect. Right from this picture you get an idea, but it's not really a complete uh, thing. So let's do this interactively. Here I'm on my desktop now. I've been uh, using Linux Mint for over five years now. Uh, after uh, using Ubuntu before, uh, I'm really happy with it. And you can see that in many aspects it's uh, similar to other uh, operating systems and that you might have used, but it's got a really uh, strong, really strong advantages in some places which caused me uh, to stay. All right, so first of all, here on the bottom left side, I get my main menu. Uh, I can open some application from here. Uh, they're grouped into categories. For example, if I wanted to open a LibreOffice, I can uh, just click it here and I'm in this case back to my presentation because I got that open already. Uh, but if I wanted to, for example, add some certain uh, office application as a shortcut to my desktop. I can also do that easily by add to desktop. And then from here I can, for example, open LibreOffice Writer uh, directly and type whatever document I want. All right, then I got some uh, more applications open here so that you can uh, see, for example, also uh, Firefox, which comes uh, installed by default. And now I say, okay, maybe I don't like the way look, things look here. Here. I can change easily uh, what things look like by changing these controls, for example, to dark controls. I personally, for example, prefer to use a dark mode on my uh, computer. Uh, what else? Then here we have our file browser. Okay, it's um, a structure like you might know from other operating systems, right? You could also go for a tree structure here. Uh, but most importantly, what I wanted to point out here, you can search for files or folders with this first search box. But more importantly, what I really like here, you can also search uh, in the content of files. All right, what else? Um, and let me minimize everything here for the desktop background, right? It also comes with a standard desktop background. Obviously, you can always change it to something of your liking. Okay, and then uh, for the applications that you have on your uh, machine, you can use the software manager, right? The software manager is like a Play Store or something like this, a store, a central store uh, for all the applications uh, for Linux Mint. The good thing is here, it's um, easily searchable uh, and grouped into categories, right? If I wanted to install, for example, uh, GIMP, which is uh, some equivalent of uh, Photoshop, I can just have a look here, see the reviews and click on install. And the good thing is here, uh, I can also see my installed software. But the best thing in my opinion is when I want to update my system and my software on my system, uh, it's all done in one go here in the update manager. Right, so I don't need to update applications individually uh, as long as I install them through the central software manager. And here, uh, as you can see, for example, the uh, different applications that have to be would have to be updated in my uh, on my system right now uh, are listed, and I can just hit install updates, and everything is up to date again. Again, what else? Um, I can also uh, open the system settings and obviously adjust everything to my uh, needs right here I could uh, for example uh, create uh, other users or I could manage my printers and uh, many many things more all right that's it for the first impressions and now let's go through this course uh, step by step